the first time that I'm gonna do a lipstick swatch but here's the twist all the lipsticks that I got are fake 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 it's because I want to prove a point that if you want to do real makeup if you want to get the real quality of a product then you might as well get the real products you know as opposed to resorting for something cheaper that's not really going to give you any value or it's going to give you less than the stellar quality that you're expecting or you should be receiving a lot of women are after these products i saw this on a kiosk in a mall they're quite I got three Kylie lipsticks because they're all in the same shade supposed to be but they have different colors on the boxes so that is weird enough right these are all Coco K they look different on the inside these two cost 250 each this one is 350 because it it also has the lip liner so this is the first Kylie uh, lipstick that I opened Coco K from this from this uh, box yeah I don't have any lipstick or lip balm on my lips because I want to test how they really feel and I'm going to remove them in front of you just so I know and you know if they're easy to remove and what you can use to remove them basic makeup remover will do or you still need like an oil remover an oil based makeup remover it's it smells sweet it, it smells like vanilla so this is what it looks like it looks really bright and not even sure if this is this is what a Coco K color should look like, but I'm gonna look it up for you. And I'm gonna put a picture right here. From what I heard, it's supposed to feel moussey on the lips. Unlike uh, ColourPop, which is really silky. It looks like Nicki Minaj. Not that it's a bad thing, but it's very pigmented from what you see. And I don't know, does it match the color on the tube? You decide. It's not really transferable, but it's starting to dry. It feels sticky right now. Not sure if it will still feel sticky later on. I kind of miss this but yeah is this what a coco K should look like I honestly think that you're gonna see me in the dark like when I step out later tonight you're probably gonna see my lips it looks that neon in person not sure how it registers on my screen but um, I'm not gonna change anything in here just so you can really see how it looks on me it's starting to dry but it's not drying up as it should This is what I'm gonna use because I don't have the legit makeup remover. So, this is the one without the lipstick. It looks weird because it's, it doesn't even have that much color, and yeah, it only looks like the residue. I don't have a point of comparison for the lip kit or for the Kylie liquid lipsticks because I don't own any but if you know if you love me enough you might give me the um, dirty peach I like that color this is the second Kylie 
matte liquid lipstick that I'm gonna try now this time it looks pale it looks too pale compared with this one so this is what it looks like even paler on the tube what the heck I just only got this to test them to be honest again smell sweet smells nice not sure if it looks nice on me it feels and looks like I'm putting liquid paper on my lips you know that one the, the one that you use to erase your, your corrections on your paper like back in high school it feels very tacky on the lips and it also does not look nice I just don't want to show you yet because I, I, I want you to have a uh, raw reaction are you ready for this jelly I mean that one was a huge no-no I mean what in the world this one is a neon pink this one is a very pale pink now this one looks red why as promised the light that the Kylie uh, lipstick and the lip liner okay so at least this looks decent right so I guess I have to try this too so you see what it looks like on me it's pigmented enough but I guess you don't really see the difference because it looks like the color of my lips it doesn't really apply that smoothly so you have to keep applying it see I already used up this much product but yeah it looks it looks nice I actually like it I like the color it doesn't feel sticky it's not too matte either but it's not disturbing I don't know I guess it's an okay lipstick for it's an okay lipstick period again uh, smells sweet smells like vanilla smells nice will it look nice on me we'll see okay definitely has a different color than the lip liner okay this one looks more peach compared to the lip liner the lip liner looks like a, a subtle pink okay well obviously this is the most decent of them all I'm just gonna wait for it to dry out so I, I can see how uh, it feels it's not really drying out like really dry this is a real residue of a lipstick for the color pop it's a good thing that I have the same shade in my stash this is the original color pop it's an instigator you will see that it looks a bit I don't know um like the dark peach or the, like I don't know this is the fake one this is the original so you can see they they're really different in terms of colors and the original the original color pop has a bigger uh, tube 
it smells sweet but it's not supposed to it looks like it you can't really see it but it looks like a lip gloss yep it only looks like a shine not really lipstick that's the fake one now I'm gonna show you the real one color pops lipsticks apply smoothly on the lips they're really silky and they're very pigmented you're not gonna have a hard time applying them on your lips you know they're really liquidy they don't really clump so this is what it looks like You can smack your lips together, that's not gonna be a problem. You can do this, and it's not gonna feel sticky at all. That's what I love about ColourPop lipsticks. And um, when they dry, once they dry on your lips, they feel really matte. So you don't really have to worry about um, brushing them off or you know touching them accidentally and removing your lipstick because they really uh, stay intact on your lips that, that's what I like about matte uh, color pops ultra matte lipsticks now I don't know what I'm gonna do with this because I sure as hell am not gonna use them I mean not even for fun because as you see they they're they're uh, hard to apply equally hard to remove I don't think they last long on your lips and they feel really sticky on the lips my point is if you want to get the quality of the lipstick products that you're eyeing at least get the real ones they're gonna cost you more but then you're gonna get more quality with them there are a lot of online shops that sell fake products so just beware so that has been my lipstick swatch video like and subscribe and comment below if you want to chat with me or whatever and follow me on my social media platforms chat with me there I don't really mind let's talk let's be friends so if there are other uh, lipstick brands that you want me to try just comment below let me know what you think of this video. I would really appreciate it. So, there's that. I'll see you again on my next vlog. This is Bay signing off. Thanks for watching. Bye.